Yeah. Let me bring that back up. Just wait for YouTube to go. Right, we're now live on YouTube, so that's brilliant. Broadcast. Okay, we're now live to all attendees on Zoom and YouTube. So wherever you are, thank you very much for joining. We'll just give you a minute to join the room. The doors are now open. It's like a rock concert. Everybody's flooding in to see us. Social distancing, of course. So we'll just give it till uh, one minute past, just to let those who want to join, join. And for those on YouTube to settle down, grab a cup of tea, a book, a pen and paper for the exam at the end. How many questions in the exam today, Tony? Five, is it? <laughs> okay, brilliant. Right, okay, I say we're okay to start now. It's one minute past. So thank you wherever you are. You join us again for another joint veracity and DVS uh, webinar. For those of you that don't know, I'm Dave Davis, Ditex C2 at DVS. And joined to my left, or that way, to my right, left, it depends where you're looking at it, uh, is Tony Lannan, um, one of the best people you can ever hope to spend the night drinking with. Um, also very clever, also very helpful. Um, Tony has joined us today to run through some of the transmission products that Veracity offer, because many people know that they <coughs> offer some analog to IP conversion, but you don't know the full extent of their product set. Now, Veracity for us is a really, really good seller. It enables our customers to upgrade from legacy systems where, uh, on, on coax, these old sites that need upgrade into IP infrastructure. So it's a really nice, easy conversion from uh, legacy analog to IP using their equipment. Now it depends on what you're trying to achieve as to what equipment that you will need. And hopefully Tony will clarify this in his slide deck as we go through it. And again, there's different versions of it. So there's PoE, non-PoE, 100 meg, gig, fiber. Uh, there's also installation tools that we can actually offer to complement it. So their product set is very varied, very robust, very reliable, and a really good manufacturer based in Scotland. So if any of you haven't seen Veracity, you really need to take a look at the product set and see what this can do for you. Actually, me and Tony talked briefly before we start this webinar. And we always put this product set within a CCTV market, but it does actually lend itself to anything that's IP related. So whilst there's a focus on, on our uh, marketplace for CCTV products, if you want to do stuff like, you know, printers, cloud devices, uh, pff, uh, network sockets for PCs, whatever that may be, you can use their products to achieve that as well. It's not just for CCTV. So bear that in mind when you're coming across these scenarios where you want to use and, and uh, you know, implement their products. It also lends me nicely onto a giveaway. So uh, Veracity kindly donated a Point Source Plus device to us. So thank you very much for that. We're going to give this away in a competition. We were going to give it away for something else, but given the situation in the webinar, we're actually going to give that away. So to be in with a chance to win the Point Source Plus test tool, which is one of the best test tools you can have as a CCTV engineer, all you have to do is comment on the YouTube channel um, or actually send an email to webinar at dvs.co.uk and we will draw a winner at random. And I'm going to pick a date now. So if you get your by the 21st, Friday the 22nd of this month. So you've got just over a week to get that in. So comment on the YouTube channel or e email webinar DVS with a chance to win. We'll pick a winner at random and one of you will win this really, really nice test tool. Um, so yeah, we partnered with Veracity for a long, long time. We have very little problems with them. The guys at Veracity are very helpful. For those of you that missed uh, last week's webinar, I urge you to go and see what we can deliver as a software and a storage solution. They don't just make IP, uh, analog to IP conversion and extenders, et cetera. They also make the, probably the best storage solutions you can buy on the market today. They're cold store solutions and then software to complement it. So definitely, definitely take a look at their website or email myself and Tony for further information and see what we can deliver together as a partnership. So on to that point, I'm hopefully Tony will be able to share his screen and we'll go through a slide deck. You will run through professionally what the products are, how we can implement them, and I'll chip away as I need to sort of add some value behind that, hopefully. We'll try and keep this to about 30 minutes-ish, but you know, if we run over, if you've got any questions, answers, again, please ask them live. I'll try and answer them live. Or if you don't want to ask them live or you're watching this retrospectively, it's webinar at dvs.co.uk where we can answer them then. So thank you for joining us and over to you, Tony. Thank you, Dev, you're a gentleman. 
Um, I'm going to go through um, our transmission solutions today. Um, there's quite a lot of products that we do have. We've got quite a lot of new products coming through shortly as well, uh, which I may mention at the end, give you a bit of a taster. Uh, so let me uh, start the deck. So first thing we're going to look at is uh, Ethernet and PO Evo coax devices. This is our, um, uh, believe it or not, this is still our biggest selling piece of soft, uh, piece of hardware, our hard wire. The hard wire is 300 meters on RG59, 500 meters on RG11. Uh, on a distance perspective, the hard wire doesn't have POE, uh, as you can see from the diagram. Uh, I've added these diagrams in just to make it easier so you can associate with where they actually fit. Um, so that's a hard wire product, which leads us then into um, the next in the hard wire family, which is the Power Star. So the Power Star uh, will deliver up to 25 watts um, over the coax, over the same distances uh, as I said before. Uh, if you notice on the image there, we have green lights, red lights, etc. This is um, a great aid when you when you're doing your install. It tells you if you're connected. It tells you how many watts of power you've got. Very so visual. Got, uh, and again, yeah. this is one of our best selling devices outside the standard high wire to deliver, a, a, you know, POE to an IP camera over existing infrastructure. This is a really popular device. Yep. Thanks, Dev. Uh, so again, this is how it fits together. Uh, this is with POE, as I say, up to 25 watts. Um, the, the lights on this uh, are absolutely paramount. I've been to many sites with many, many uh, of, of US eyes um, and everybody raves about the fact that, yes, I know it's connected because uh, mm -hmm. that's half the battle, let's be honest. Uh, this is uh, now the Power Star Quad. Okay, so this is full ports, uh, 8023F, uh, PWE compatible, and you can put up to four cameras or four other devices on this. Mm -hmm. Interestingly enough, we have the same... Um, lighting structure on this so you can see if it's connected how many watts of power if you've got a problem etc built into this unit as well um, on the screen now is how it's deployed um, if you've got a lot of cameras please bear in mind when you're plugging cameras in the end of this that whatever you put in if you're using purely from a switch it's a 30 watt switch you've only got 30 watts going over the line mm -hmm. you know 1.3 watts for a unit 1.7 watts for the end unit so you've lost three watts before you've got anywhere uh, and that's what's remainder of the four ports. So either that, or you put a, a, um, a separate power supply in a 57 V800 or a 1500. 1500, by the way, is up to 72 watts, which will then be available across your ports. Just to jump in there as well, that, that one there is really handy. We get a lot of requests where customers have an existing system that they want to add cameras into that location, but obviously the, the work to do that is normally quite extensive. Now, a simple upgrade is put this unit in and deploy more than one camera in that location with very little work, very little site time, and the labour and installation cost that goes with it is obviously decreased. So, again, really powerful device and one that we deploy quite regularly. Yeah, that's a good point, that, Dave, actually, because I see this going to a lot of places where they used to have PTZs. Mm. They've got all analog PTZs and they're putting RP cameras in, uh, and they'll use this device, obviously, for running it to the same location for the coax and then deploying within, again, 100 metres or with other products further than that mm. uh, for the new RP cameras. So it's, it's, uh, it's a lifesaver, basically. Oh, definitely. So move on to Duo. Uh, this is exactly the same as a quad, obviously, but this has got two connections. Um, on this one, I've actually showed a different deployment, putting the 1500 or 800 in. Uh, you notice at the beginning of this, I've showed you a different way of connecting this as well. If you don't want to send the POE and you need more power at the endpoint, use the power supply at the endpoint and just use a standard R wire at the front mm. um, to save you some money, basically. You know, there's no point in putting a power supply at the front because it'll be suited no purpose. Mm -hmm. um, the dual at the end of that will get its power from the, uh, from the power supply. Uh, if it's available, obviously. Yep. Uh, so this is, uh, again, our family Power Star Base 4. Um, this is good for replacing things like full channel like Goldis, a uh, very useful piece of kit. I'll show you the diagram again. Uh, this actually works. The Base 4 uh, will go in your rack, um, or we used to have a DVR. You unplug the DVR coaxes and plug them into this, put a Power Star in your back box at your camera, and you're good to go. Uh, mm -hmm. that'll your cameras from that position so quite a nice uh quite a nice product so i like this product um we all see widely as well yeah i can say that's a that's a nice upgrade option uh, and again widely used very good for this, this saves a lot of money dave oh, on, yeah. um, once you know you're not pulling cables out or changing cables or it's a straight swap out literally you know you're putting in a, ca a camera on the wall with a back box anyway you put the you know power star in the back box plug yeah. it in 
and it's all powered from uh, internally. So exactly. um, less time on site, more margin in your pocket. Mm -hmm. This is the base eight, exactly the same product, but with eight connections uh, on this as well. Base eight and base four both got ethernet gigabit ports on uh, for your network. And they've also got a fiber SFP port on the back, uh, which is not tied to any manufacturer's SFP, it will work with them all. Mm. Um, so that makes it a little bit more flexible. It's very flexible. And like you said, we're seeing a lot more uh, fiber connections coming into this industry. You know, fiber cost has come down. There's a lot more people putting in use of fiber. And obviously, they're using that fiber backbone that's you know already there. So it makes it a truly flexible device. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So we'll move on to the next one. Now, this looks like, uh, as it's today, it's the base four. Well, this is a base four link lock. And basically, what we can do with the link lock is this is a. Uh, an anti-tamper um, base four. Uh, we'll do this in a base eight flavors as well. You notice on the bottom of the diagram there, uh, we have relays, uh, mm -hmm. pins um, for alarm input outputs, etc. If somebody touches the camera on the entrance and plug in the camera, plays around with the cable, uh, any way, shape, or form, ex, you know, anywhere in between mm -hmm. the base unit and the camera, it will lock that leg down completely. Nothing can get through. Um, you've got VMS, you can reset it by the VMS, obviously, otherwise you have to go to site. Uh, we built this very specifically for um, a large global bank uh, who wanted to put RP cameras on the outsides of the walls. Um, we're really, really worried that uh, that would give people access to the network. So we addressed it, uh, and this was our solution for that. Uh, so this does go into quite a large, a large banks, uh, prisons, anywhere really, to be fair, anywhere where somebody's got a fear uh, when you've got an IT manager, maybe he's overzealous, I don't know. This is good um, because, it, it, like you said, it adds a hardening into a system. You know, even if it, even if it's not an existing system, we've actually, like you said, the, the, the case with the bank, we've had customers request this on new installations and are actually making use of it to add that hardened, hardened layer between the camera and the network because if you can take a camera off the wall and you have access to the cabling, effectively you could have access to the network. So this provides that hardening that you just talked about. So again, another option that people can use to add that layer of security into the system. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. This is a good sell to end users as well. Yeah. The end yeah. users grasp this straight away and you're alleviating any problems that they might have with, you, you know, with camera placements and things uh, because it is a secure system. So base eight link lock, exactly the same again. Um, um, same product, a bit of a, a better image on this one at the bottom, because uh, you can see uh, the ethernet ports on the back and the mm -hmm. fiber SFP slot along with the alarm inputs, uh, et cetera. So um, we just spoke about that. So there's no point in going through the eight, just uh, to show you that mm -hmm. there is multiple uses. We can wrap mount all these, by the way, in a one new wrap mount, uh, but we'll go into that further on. So long range uh, ethernet over coax. This is the last in our Hawaii family uh, currently, uh, the Longstar. Um, Longstar is rail and metro compliant. Uh, these are all over, certainly all over network rail in this country. Um, the, the tube, London Underground, um, Belgian Metro. Um, we have these in the States, all in New York, et cetera. Fantastic product, we've got to say. This will take POE over, over 1.4 kilometers. Um, and if you don't want, POE, we can send that up to 4.2 kilometers as a connection. So very good on, on, on boundaries, on fence lines, um, you know, where you're struggling to get uh, connectivity to. Um, so wait, one of my favorite products in our range, I have to say. Phenomenal, that is, yeah, phenomenal range. So that's where it goes together. Um, as you can see, um, it's an optional power supply again. What my advice is, the longer the range you're going to go over and you need to maximize your POE, always put a power supply at the beginning. Uh, that way you'll 100% get what you think you're going to get at the end. If you want 25 watts, it'll deliver 25 watts. Um, what again, a quick... as, a, as a pointer, we have a lot of people who, who would do this and don't put the power supply in. Their camera works fine in the day. And when the camera switches into night mode and the IR comes on, especially with like the, the, the four camera options, then the, the, that's when the additional power draw comes in and they start to drop off. So I'd say if you, if you worry, put that additional power supply in and save yourself that worry. Yeah, it saves another visit to site, Div, <laughs> which costs money, doesn't it? Let's be fair. Light version, as I've just described, exactly the same product, uh, but without POE. Um, so, and again, you can go quite a distance, up to 4.2 kilometers, this product. These are the wrap mounts that I've just discussed for the base four, base eight link lock 
uh, long stars, etc., will fit straight into this. Um, that's all broken down into pieces. One of the things I think we've done in the past, Dave, to be fair, with certainly have many conversations with you and your guards about this, mm -hmm. is we needed to um, show people the parts on this. What do they need? Because uh, it's far out to say we've got a wrap mount. You know, what do I need? What's the part list, et cetera? So this is broken down into this, and I'll and again I'll make this available for you all. Thank you. Uh, to make your life a lot simpler. Okay. This is showing you, not got to long span yet, but this is showing you the wrap mount for the, uh, the one you wrap mount for the long spans. Uh, how they all interconnect together, the RMP, SU, 4Ws, which 99% of people forget to order when they do this, hence the reason I produced this slide. Get up to 24 long spans in that wrap mount, by the way. Uh, this is a patch lead, goes with long spans, uh, so you can have, rather than trying to fiddle through in a rack, because you've got all these, you can imagine long spans on the front, you still need to get behind it um, to actually plug your, your network connection in. This will bring the behind to the front, so an over and under approach. So in and out, top and bottom, really easy, really simple. Um, and again, makes makes life a lot easier, a lot neater, a lot yeah. easier to work with. Lots of accessories um, for the highway range as well. As, as I say, um, we've got power supplies for these so you can wrap mount and we've got inverted um, brackets so they can sit beyond, uh, you know, and sort of like away from the front panel so they will get banged if you like once they're in the rack. So we've all sorts of different uh, um, connections for you there. So on to um, the Ethernet and PoE extension. Um, this is our Outreach Max. Uh, this was changed maybe six months ago. Um, used to have plastic connectors. Mm -hmm. uh, they've got metal connectors. Uh, the metal connectors on this uh, will, uh, when you put your cat cable on, if it's got uh, shielding, this will pass the shield through the product as well. When it was plastic, it wouldn't pass through the shielding, hence why we changed it. Uh, we recognise that pretty good, to be fair. Yeah. Um, so we can actually series link these. We can put one in, two in, three in, four in, etc. in leaps of 100 metres. Um, just had a conversation with Dave before we started, and my advice is, and I'll get to a slide in a second where you'll see it. If you're going to put more than two in, just buy a long span, it'll be cheaper uh, or more cost effective for you. And yeah. The idea of this is you come out from a PoE switch, you can put one of these in at 100, 100 metre mark, and that'll let you go further 100 metres and take that POE with it. So in effect, from POE switch to camera or to access point or whatever you're putting in, uh, that will be 200 metres at that point. Mm -hmm. So these are pretty new, Outreach Max G. Um, so this is the same product uh, as I've just shown you. We've changed the design in this range, and everything in our range is probably going to end up looking like this over the next 18 months or so. Uh, this is a gigabit uh, connection, exactly the same product, um, same distances, etc. We can series link them as before. Difference is now you've got a gigabit throughput on this. Uh, and I'm sure Dave can educate you on how many cameras you can put over a gigabit connection. Oh, um, a lot. <laughs> it's a lot more than what people think. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah a lot. <laughs> so we do have a gigabit. This is in gigabit now. It's called the Max G. Uh, we do a note, uh, an Outreach Max XT, which again, is that same product, but this time it's in an RP67 rated housing. Um, it's got NEMA on there for some of you guys who are going to ask the questions. I've no doubt what is NEMA. NEMA is the equivalent in the States, because we're a global business, of, of our RP67 um, that we use over here. Um, this is a great product. This has got metal connectors as well, so this will take your shielding through um, just the same. Uh, connects exactly the same. It's line powered, remember, the outreach range. It comes from POE from a switch, which powers the device, which passes it through to your endpoint. This is a GXT, okay? So this uh, GXT is um, the gigabit version of the XT. It's that simple, GXT, XT. So mm -hmm. XT is 10100, this is, this is a gigabit. Uh, and again, we can show you, you can series link it through. And you can power it differently in this, in this case uh, with an Outsource Plus or uh, what is now the Outsource uh, 30. Um, so you, can, you don't need PoE from a switch generally. You can use the Outsource Plus to actually power all these devices uh, and give you exactly what you wanted to save you the expense of going out and buying uh, a, a PoE switch because that switch there could be doing other things as well. Yeah. Uh, so it's our long span device. Uh, again, um, uh, from this range, or the Ethernet over Ethernet range, it's our biggest selling product globally. Um, so literally hundreds of thousands of these things. Um, again, they do what they say on the tin. 
You can use outreach on a Cat5, Cat6. Uh, you can even use this um, as, a, as a question last week, David, on BT cable. It depends yeah. on the twists, obviously, for distances and yeah. things, but, you know, you pass that information, we will come back and give you a credible answer of what you can do. You can use it on one, two, or four per cables, uh, which is quite handy sometimes. Uh, if you have got a cable over there, you can actually uh, still give you the POE over the over the, uh, over the the two per, uh, rather than four per. That'll give you two lots of cables, in, in effect, uh, to achieve what you want to. It's pretty. That's pretty good when you're doing things like gates at the end of a long drive, where you need to put access control and a camera uh, and that sort of thing. I even tested it on uh, an old eight core alarm cable, two pairs of an eight core alarm cable and got a hundred meters out of it and it worked fine. And it's the fact they're still working now, like, you know, so yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. accessible device, like you said, it's always best to check before we deploy these, but we did check, we did do the testing and it did work. So a yeah. very flexible unit. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, it's very bomb-proof unit. It's yeah, it quite yeah. flexible when you understand how many other different things you can do with this. Mm -hmm. uh, interesting thing about this as, as well is you've got um, diagnostics on this as well. Um, you'll see, probably maybe not off that image, but there are five bars which light up green, orange, red, and some will flicker, some will flash, and there are diagnostics tools to tell you if you've got a problem, it will tell you what the problem is as well. Yeah, Shorten exactly. your cable, for example. Mm -hmm. um, so again, very, very useful. Uh, product. Uh, this product will go up to 820 meters uh, over Cat 6, 520 meters over Cat 5, both with 25 watts of power. Quite an achievement, I have to say. It is, oh, 100%, yeah. So, uh, Lightspan, this is a fiber media converter. Um, I don't think a lot of people realize we actually do these, uh, but that's why I've got this on this slide deck uh, for you to have a look. So, what we've got here, as you can see, we've got to uh, 1.24 miles over a fiber. Again, great in warehousing, that sort of thing. Well, you're right, Dave. People love using a lot of fibers now through socks, et cetera, yeah. because of the price and things. Uh, and who blames them? Get light speed. Can't go wrong, can you? No. Um, this, uh, as I say, is uh, a meter converter. Um, needs a power supply on both sides, both low power, both 12 volts. Uh, so not a big ask, if you wish. Um, but quite a good product, I have to say. That's like I say, 1.24 miles or 2,000 meters. Yep, that's really good. So, network solutions. Um, I've left this slide on deliberately because uh, some of you are going to say, oh, you don't have that anymore. So, cam switch. We don't have an eight port cam switch anymore, but we have got something coming out in the next few weeks that's going to replace the eight port cam switch. The four port cam switch is still available. So, that's what we call a four plus one. So, you've got a network connection and your four ports. Uh, POE uh, or not. Uh, I'd always advise that you use the power supply with this to maximize the wattage on your ports because that's generally what you're putting in there for in the first place. But I tell uh, you, uh, just to jump in, and I know, um, again, going back to a point we went to earlier on the, the, the analog version of this, we actually have uh, had a lot of requests where, again, they've had, they have a camera in a location, they need to put a camera to cover another location, it's in that location very big cable run, it's disruptive, it's time consuming, costly. This little device, plug it in, power it and chuck another camera up. It really is a lifesaver, this little device. The same, yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I can't tell you how much this has saved our uh, reputation in the past, let's just say that. <laughs> <laughs> you do, again, Dave, again, they do what, it does what it says on the tin, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah for sure. So that's how we can deploy this. I'm showing that with an outsource plus of that being outsource uh, OS 30 now as it is. Um, you can't power that. You could power this off POE switch. Um, you're not going to get much out of it out of a POE switch. Obviously, by the time it's powered the device, and you'd be disappointed with what you get out of the ports. So um, I would always rather put an injector on uh, or power it at the far point if you can. Cam switch for mobile, um, exactly the same, obviously, but this is a mobile device. Uh, this can be connected to 12, 24 volt batteries as well. And again, Dave, I have to say, mate, this has got me out of a lot of sticky parts. I have <laughs> well. this a lot in our, like our tower and rapid deployment builds where it's a 12 volt battery source, either from, you know, battery, solar power, combination of, et cetera, um, or vehicles. So the vehicles in that rapid deployment market, that's where we really see this product come into itself. Yeah, very, absolutely. Very handy. Absolutely. And again, uh, as we point out on the slide there, this is not just for, for cameras. You can plug anything Ethernet onto any of our devices. Um, you know, access points, door controllers, as Dave pointed out earlier, printers, servers, PCs, doesn't matter. Vote phones, 
if it's an ethernet socket this thing will power uh, exactly what you need so installation tools um, we have uh, quite a few installation tools um, a lot of you are familiar with these i have to say uh, this is our pinpoint um, this is great for engineers who want to break in and put their laptop on so they can configure a camera for example on a, on a system in the field um, you literally unplug it from whatever it's in plug your pinpoint in plug it into your laptop uh, and away you go so a lot of people when we built they said oh i, I want to do that wirelessly so what we did is we built a wireless version of this mm -hmm. as well so they can actually use it on smart devices like iphones android phones uh pads ipads etc um this is pretty good, I have to say. Um, certainly, when you know you're a cherry picker or something like that, and you want to want to actually power something and configure it while you've got the cherry picker in situ. Um, so again, uh, easy product, um, good value for money product, I have to say. And uh, as an engineer, um, that's in my toolbox without a doubt. I've got two of them. Yeah, that's because you're greedy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is our, um, I don't blame you though, because I'll probably have to as well, mate. <laughs> Point source wireless. So this is the bigger version, if you like, of this. Yeah. It's got um, a battery pack. Uh, this is one of our flagship products. Um, this is such a versatile tool for lots of, uh, lots of reasons, lots of places. It can go, comes with um, a battery, obviously. In that battery, as it says, you get six to eight hours, depending on how long you left it turned on. Obviously, it's got its own wireless SSID. Uh, so the idea of this is that uh, as long as I've got connection to a network, I can plug it in physically or I can do it wirelessly into the network on site, plug a camera in it, that will power the camera, that will then open the GUI on your um, on your mobile device or your, your iPad or anything else you want to connect it to. You can even use this. I've seen people using these um, at the bottom of a post, believe it or not, sat in the van and configured the entire network from it. I so, see. So it's quite uh, it's quite a versatile unit. You buy some batteries for these, and it comes with a big strap. I tell you, another innovative use I've seen with that product is where people have like deployed a camera to cover like an event, short-term event or whatever that may be, a time-lapse video. There's no power locally; they just want a self-contained, put a camera on a tripod, put that at the bottom, and like you said, six to eight-hour battery life to power that camera. Mm -hmm. with me capture the images on the SD card on the camera. And it's, it's an all-in-one rapid deployment system almost. So it's actually got a lot more uses than, than, than people realize. I know it's not its primary use, but just another innovative use. Yeah, I've, I've, Dave, we get people ringing us all the time, asking us, can they use these for access points? Which yeah. are a temporary thing while they're looking at something, you know? Um, so yeah, you're right. It's, uh, it's a lot of uses. Um, and again, uh, Dave's got one of these to give away in the competition today uh -huh. as well. Um, so that's what it looks like. You won't be disappointed, trust me. Because if you get one, we'll guarantee your mate will buy one as well. Exactly, yeah. Generally, <laughs> generally what happens. Um, so on to our outsource, which is a, a PoE injector. This is now called an outsource OS 30. Okay, so 30 watts um, to uh, bang across whatever you need, whatever your requirements of 30 watts. We have got, um, coming, I might as well tell you about it now, um, in a few weeks' time, uh, will be available at DVS in maybe four or five weeks maximum. Mm -hmm. uh, an outsource 90, so you've got a 90 watt product uh, that will go over um, quite a distance uh, as well and provide you 90 watts at places where you need that power source. You know, whether that's PTZs or access points or whatever it is that you're, you're putting together. Access control, POE access control panels with a lock output on there, that's going to be invaluable. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So NTP servers, a lot of people, even today, um, I talk about this all the time um, uh, with, with DVS, whenever I'm in front of the sales teams and what have you, trying to get into the reds that uh, this is, uh, I'll tell you about it first and I'll tell you that story in a second. This is a, a master um, GPS uh, time clock. Um, so this works a bit like sat nav in your car. So as long as you've got the area light and it can get a signal from a satellite, um, you will pick up the time um, right down to the minute second as well on this. Um, it's a plan and one device. How does it work? So antenna off the back, you can get an extension for the antenna as well. Um, it doesn't have to be outside, uh, the antenna, it just needs to be near where it can see through the glass exactly like when you, mm -hmm. the older days, and I'm saying older days, well, probably not that long ago, maybe six, seven years ago, where you'd have a sat nav on plug on your window. That'll connect to the satellite. The minimum satellite you're gonna get any one time is 12. Uh, if I put one of these on um, a corporate system, 
they can use this, this TAN source, this NTP server for every single device on their system. Um, it go up to 2,500 connections, uh, which will take the TAN source from this. So you've got a site or a customer with multiple sites, you still only need one of these, put it on the network and away you go. Invaluable for cameras, NVRs, servers, uh, and everywhere else uh, to get your TAN source from. So uh, my advice is uh, put one of these at every single customer you go to, you won't be disappointed. Your, your cameras are not going to lose the TAN. Uh, and when there's a you know when there's an incident, at least you've got the right time on your MBR and your cameras that match, and then you've got some invisible evidence, which is always essential. So that's all from me on that. Um, I'm going to give you a quick 10 seconds, let you know what's coming. I've just told you about the Outsource 90, which is going to be available, as I say, in a few weeks. We're going to be doing a long a long span max, uh, a long span max quad, which is going to give you four ports at 70 watts. Um, and three ports, uh, four ports, sorry, at 30 watts on the same device. That's four ports at 70 watts, four ports at 30 watts on the same device over 320 meters. That's a game changer uh, and an innovation in the industry, I've got to say. So quite excited to see that come through. Uh, as I said, the last one was the Outsource 90, which I've also told you about already, um, which is a 90 watt PO injector. That's it from me, David. I can't thank you enough, Tony. So again, thank you very much for joining me. I think the people that are watching this will hopefully find some education on this and see the wider products that you guys can offer and then start to implement them into their topologies as they go forward um, you know, into the systems that they can design and deliver. What I would say is we've had a long-standing relationship with Racity. We work really well alongside you guys and we're always pushing both ways for innovation. The products are rock solid, they're very reliable, they're mostly designed as a plug and play product. So even with very little skilled knowledge, you can actually get these systems plug and play connected. And um, the reliability, obviously they're made uh, up in Scotland and they got a brilliant um, sort of stable up there where this technology comes from, so a great set of heads and, and they're really supportive. So if you haven't dealt with Veracity or, or, or seen their products, now is a good time to look at their portfolio, get involved, ask any questions and see if we can help you in any kind of way. The GPS time clock on its own is one product that everybody, like you said, Tony, can offer just straight off, off the buck, like, you know. So again, if you've got any questions, uh, contact DVS sales staff or drop an email to webinar at dvs.co.uk. If you want to speak to Tony himself because you don't want to deal with DVS, then obviously we can give you his contact details or you can go and find him out on LinkedIn. I'm sure he'll accept your, your message on there. Don't forget we are running this competition for the point source uh, giveaway. So all you have to do is comment on the YouTube video itself on the channel um, or email webinar at dvs.co.uk by the end of next Friday. We'll choose a winner at random and we'll post it out to you and you will enjoy that product. Um, and then hopefully you can give us some feedback. Other than that, I think that's all we covered. If you want the slide deck, again, webinardvs.co.uk, where we can share the slide deck with you, which will give you a sort of a better, better understanding. And then hopefully you can even share that with your customer, and your, your engineers and your staff, so they can upskill themselves as well. A big, massive thank you again, Tony, for joining me. And hopefully we'll do another one very shortly together, because I think these are really powerful. So thank you very indeed, much. Indeed, indeed. Education's king, Dave, is the way I always look at it. Learning is earning. So uh, Absolutely. Let's, let's hope we can team up again in the next couple of weeks and do another. And we'll have a, a little thing to see if we can deliver something else to, the, to our customer base. Absolutely. Absolutely. You Appreciate much. your time. Thanks for everybody okay. for the time. Stay tuned. Stay subscribed. And we'll see you next week for another webinar. Bye. Cheers. Bye-bye now.